The break and thank you for trusting us tonight. I'm Ryan Kruger and I'm Chris Earl. This half hour of local news on Fox 4 starts off with more important questions about the Fort Myers yacht basin. I don't know if that timeline is going to be a month. I don't know if that timeline is going to be three months. Tonight, more than three weeks after Hurricane Ian struck the area, Fort Myers city leaders admit they do not have an exact timeline when people who live on boats will be able to return home. And that answer comes after Fox First Colton Chavez spent days pushing for answers to learn what the Yacht Basin's path to recovery will look like. Since I was first standing here two weeks ago at the Yacht Basin, when residents were told they had to leave immediately, I've witnessed a roller coaster of emotions and uncertainty, both from residents and now tonight, the city. From capturing emotions running high two weeks ago. And this is how we're gonna get treated by our city. To lingering concerns I'm hearing again from Yacht Basin residents now kicked out and looking for places to live. A lot of people lost their boats. A lot of people have some major repairs to do. And for longtime Yacht Basin resident Libby Walker, she says the majority of her neighbors should be able to return right now. More than half the boats and half the docks are secure, just as they were on September 27th. The residents that are thinking this looks like it's fine because aesthetically it looks like it's it's usable, but this other area looks like it's not because aesthetically it looks like it's not usable. That, that's not the indicators. So days after I first started trying to ask, city spokesperson Liz Bello Matthews told me the indicators come from a final evaluation being done, but not yet completed by city staff and third parties. So until that complete and detailed assessment is finalized, we cannot have anyone enter. And a timeline for when people can return turn, Bella Matthews says is unknown. I don't know if that timeline is going to be a month. I don't know if that timeline is going to be three months. We're not getting the information we need. Back at the basin, Libby Walker tells me residents feel like they're being left in the dark, including information they need for removing damaged boats and why they feel the city will not restore power. We don't have electricity running to the Yacht Basin right now because we cannot. Um, it, it is not considered safe to live in. The entire process, Bella Matthews tells me, will take time and patience which right now is defined by the city as this is not something that's going to happen in one week or in two weeks and we'll be able to just flip a switch and get the Yacht Basin up and running again. But the most common question residents are asking me is do we plan to return residents to the Yacht Basin? Yes, yes, absolutely. Now I just spoke with city spokesperson Liz Bella Matthews just a few hours ago and she tells me residents here at the Yacht Basin should be on the lookout for an email that will detail two companies that can help them either remove or repair their boats. In the Fort Myers Yacht Basin, Colton Chavez, Fox 4.